Hi, let's take a quick look at bar chart inside Substance Player. That's where you can see all the settings for your procedural substance. I'll go to 2D view here and you can see uh, a preview of this procedural texture on the left. Like with every procedural texture or most of them, you can adjust the size from tiny to large. And I'll choose something like 512 here to show you. Now, for bar chart, you can change the number of bars displayed from one up to eight. If you need more, you can simply place two bar charts side by side. And you can adjust the size of the bars and some color values like saturation and lightness. You can also turn this little 3D effect on or off and the grid lines. And to show you the grid lines, I'll quickly grab a white background texture. You can see for input, you can adjust the background texture. Let's pick a simple white. And you can turn these grid lines on or off if you like. Furthermore, you can of course adjust the values for your budget. And that's tedious to do this by hand. You'll probably want a script to take care of those. Also, you can adjust colors for each and every bar and again that's something you might want to set once or you have a script change the colors if you like now if you use it as a health bar for example you can also adjust the color if it goes below a certain value and we can also preview this in 3d that's how your procedurally generated bar chart would look like applied to a simple cube, for example. So that's how bar chart works inside Substance Player, for example. Okay, let's get started with a brief overview of the bar chart package. It, of course, does come with the bar chart SBSR file, which is a MER 3 kilobyte. And that's your procedural material and with every procedural material you'll see the instances of here some pre-designed settings let's add a new one for example you can of course adjust the shader and then tweak all the settings you have already seen inside the substance player before like number of charts the width color settings and of course the values now you can see your output here and you can change your extra settings as you know from unity now I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'll have a brief look at the examples you do get with this package now there are some examples Basically, just to show you how to use your substance from inside the script. First, let's take a look at the GUI demo. This is basically a simple scene where we have a first-person controller, just to have some action, and a simple terrain. That's not important at all. What is important is that for the GUI, we have a simple GUI texture which will reference our substance material and I can adjust the color and transparency of course and where I want to display it. Now this GUI texture is driven by a script which will change the values of the procedural texture the GUI example texture according to the player's position and some random values. So let's have a look at this demo. So we have a mouse look script attached so if I move around you can see some values changing. The first two values are just 
randomly moving up and down. The third value will decrease when I click the mouse. The fourth value is my speed, so if I move forward you can see my speed does increase. And the next value is my angle at which I turn. And the last value is the height. So if I move up, it slowly increases. And if I move down, it slowly decreases. So that's basically the demo. You don't need all the other assets. It's just to show you how to display your procedural material. And on the GUI, you can also use it for a health bar and so on and so forth. We can also have a brief look at the scripts. I have the script set GUI bars here, for example, and that's how I change it. For example, you bounce the values one and two randomly up and down, and the value three depends on the mouse click so if I click the mouse I reduce this value and then I have my speed which will be transferred into value 4 and value 5 will give you the rotation and value 6 will give you the y position which is the height. So just a brief example to show you how you set these values with one simple line of code and of course you can make it as complex as you like it. Also let's take a look at the second example. It's an interactive demo. Here we have put a simple monitor into the scene and inside the monitor we have the procedural texture as the monitor display. So we want to simulate like a real chart, if you like, inside your game, not on the GUI. And we have these buttons here, and you can press these buttons to basically randomly change the display. There's not much sense in it, it's just a demo to show you how it's done. Let's start this one up. It's also a first person controller with a mouse look script. Let's move closer to the monitor and we can, for example, increase the number of bars by pressing here this blue button, decrease it, say, the other blue button, and we can change the values from red, blue, green to some rainbow colors by clicking here on the red button. And I also can tweak the values by clicking the screen itself. So there are three scripts. You can also have a brief look at these, for example, to change color script will change the color randomly and to change number of bar script will increase or decrease the number of bars and the random bar script. This is the easiest script probably where you change the values. If the mouse is clicked, you just cycle through all the values from one to nine and set a random value then you update the texture and that's basically how you use your bar chart inside unity so happy charting and thanks for watching